Hey everybody, Ken Surf's here. We're in the shave den and it's time for another high-end shave. In fact, I'm gonna call this High-End Shave 2020. It's not like we're dressing up to go out anymore, right, gents? Because, uh, yeah, you know, COVID-19 has kept us in. But that doesn't mean that we can't be prepared. So today I'm gonna be doing a, I'm gonna call it a high-end shave with a new cologne from Great Britain and it's Gravitas Pour Home. And I'm gonna be using the most expensive razor I own, which is the Gillette Toggle. So it's definitely gonna be a nice high-end shave today. I'm gonna to take this uh, suit off because uh, you've seen me shave. This suit will be covered with soap. So I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. All right, we are back. Now I can get that soap everywhere. And the soap that I will be getting everywhere, including my ears, is going to be the Taylor of Old Bond Street Platinum Collection. There we go. The brush I'm going to be using is, uh, man, one of my favorites from the UK. It's the chubby one, Simpson brush. In fact, it's a badger, so we're going to get this thing soaking now. The razor. I've only done a few shaves with this razor uh, on video and that is the toggle. And uh, man, this is the crown jewel of collectible Gillette razors. And it took me years to get it. I won't tell you what I paid for it, but uh, man, if it wasn't for this channel, I never would have got this because, uh, <laughs> you know, I, I enjoy demoing it. And uh, quite frankly, it, it is, they're just too damn expensive. All right, I'm gonna be using a brand new Wilkinson Sword Gillette blade today. Oh. Wristwatch check, got the Omega Seamaster on. Since we're doing a high-end shave, might as well have a high-end watch, right? All right, the toggle. Uh, let me set this down a second. If you've not seen a toggle, it's uh, actually an adjustable, but to load the razor, you flip the toggle up, the doors open up. I am on setting number three, as you see. Put the blade in. Just drops right in like that. Drop the toggle, lock it in place, and we are good to go. There's your overhang. I picked this up off eBay, and then actually I talked to the guy uh, on one of the, I think it was Badger and Blade forums, and he pulled it off eBay, and then he sold it to me direct, uh, which I appreciate it. So uh, he saved a few fees on uh, on that but uh he's taking real good care of it i have the original case in fact i lost this thing i i went through and cleaned out a lot of the excess uh razors and put them in the garage in drawers uh not have them in the bathroom because of the moisture but couldn't find it turns out i'd put it in my dresser drawer for safekeeping but i put it in there about six months ago or four months ago forgot where i put it like you know it's tough getting old. All right. Wet the face a little. Talk a little about the star of the show. It's not the razor. It's the uh, it's the eau de parfum or uh, pour homme. Uh, you know, please don't uh, grade my English. I know it's kind of terrible, but this comes from England, and it is uh, from Notton and Wilson. And it's a, uh, well, Gravitas. And it was created by English YouTube fragrance reviewer Dan Naughton and Scottish fragrance entrepreneur Matt Wilson. Now, uh, Dan Naughton is uh, Mr. Smelly1977 on YouTube. You've probably seen him. I've got, a, I'll put a link in here. He reviews all sorts of fragrances. So he's just, uh, his whole channel, I mean, 32,000 subscribers. All he does is uh, fragrance reviews, so he figured he'd come up with kind of a, a, a cologne that's good for all ages, for men of all ages. And uh, some of you, uh, some, some of you viewers, had said, "Hey, have I tried it? Have I tried it?" And that's how I genuinely find out about some of these products. What I like, let's see here, comes in the box. Let me put the lid back on there. It's got a really nice. Uh, container. It's 3.8 ounces. It's four ounces are, are the standard. There we go. 
and it's a spray. It's not an aftershave. If they have an aftershave, I wasn't aware of it, uh, but I am going to use it as an aftershave. Just a couple of quick whiffs. I have opened this up because I put it through the most important test I can, and that's uh, my wife. I put some on. Right away, she liked it. And she was the one who was bugging me, you know, to get the Creed. But, man, Creed's just too damn expensive. This costs about 100 bucks a bottle. This is not a low-end cologne. Uh, but on the same note, the latest cologne that I got for Christmas, this uh, Sauvage, this is an Oudé toilet. And this is about 80 bucks for two ounces. And it's 120 bucks for the Parfum. So uh, Gravitas is twice the volume at roughly the same price. A little bit less. All right. Now I gotta wet my face again because I talk too much. All right, and we're gonna be doing a face lather because the platinum soap, you're just not gonna be able to whip that up in that bowl. So what I'm gonna do is uh, get some on there. Hopefully I got all the water out, too much water. Something you're not supposed to do with badger brush brushes, or at least that's what they tell me. But I've never had no trouble with it. Oh man, I forgot to do the credit card test. I do have, uh, I do have some whiskers going. So some of you are gonna go, hey man, that guy doesn't even have any uh, whiskers going, but I do. Yeah, the wife really liked it. About once a year, I try to get another higher-end cologne to add to the collection. Uh, some of my favorites, you know, are vintage. And my wife doesn't like them anymore. Obsession, Safari, Eternity, Polo. Uh, latest one was Sauvage. She likes that. All right. The toggle. Here we go. My time machine would be to go back in time and uh, buy some of these when they're like eight bucks or 10 bucks. Then I'd go back in time to 2008 and I'd buy Sirius XM stock when it was a nickel a share because it's up to like four bucks and something a share now. I did tap into that market a tad. Just paid off an $11,000 credit card by cashing in those stocks from Sirius XM. Nicholas Cher. Gillette, you would make a ton of money if you did a limited edition toggle razor. I mean, more than a fat boy. You would do a ton of money. stop there, but we won't. I've had no problem with my Simpsons brush. Some people said this, their Simpsons shed. I've had no problem. One of you texted me that they uh, sent a comment that you just got the Simpson Chubby 3. Damn. That is one spendy razor, or spendy brush. But my dad used to have a Simpson, so... As a tribute to him, 
I had to get me one too, because I couldn't find his. Probably got dumped. I guess, the, I guess the notes on this cologne are bergamot, mandarin orange, and lavender, and I've got all the notes and all the information on the cologne and the links in the description of this video. But like I said, my wife really liked it. I figure treat yourself once in a while, right? And I, they may have smaller sizes too. You know, I, I know I've seen eBay, they're selling tubes of it for reasonable, but you know. I watched a very short review by Executive Shaving on this uh, same cologne just 20 minutes ago. I shoot these videos by the seat of my pants. I don't have a script. I try not to memorize things. I do have my cheat sheets right there. Uh, but, uh, you know, if I start to have a script and rehearse, I'm just going to goof like crazy. Now, ordinarily, I use an unscented shave balm. I've got my Nivea Men unscented shave balm that I can't find. That's the problem when you reorganize and clean up. Cannot find it. So I'm just gonna do a quick spritz with this because you don't wanna treat it like aftershave. You definitely do not wanna treat it like aftershave. Wow. <laughs> it's even got a warning. Extremely flammable. <laughs> so don't be smoking, man, when you're shooting this on. You might flamethrow yourself. I'm going to have a good night tonight. My wife is going to be very happy when I walk out of here smelling like this. I'm telling you. you know, I've been on the kind of crap list lately, so hopefully this elevates me a little bit. I should have kept the suit on. All right. So I do like it. Uh, it sure does smell good, and it is now going to sit with pride right next to my shelf where I've got all, like I said, I've got Obsession, I've got uh, Polo, I've got uh, uh, Safari, uh, Eternity. That is sitting right there in the roundup, and uh, that I keep off to its side. I hardly ever use the Creed, just too damn expensive, you know. That's like 390 bucks. That's crazy, crazy. You know, but uh, this affordable, it lasts, and so far the ladies seem to really like it, so that's good news. Hey, thank you for watching. I look forward to doing another shave very soon. Stay safe. So long for now.